I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe Ouch. we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Shoulders down. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Still seems a little early. Dominating shoulder tackle. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Oof. Gut punch. Nasty. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Now the head says is a bite. Oh, oh, man, that's just nasty. Just Leg drop. It's effective. He might have it. Is he done? He looks a bit off his game here. He's gonna have to cut up. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. And an early kick out. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. He's com Here he goes. And there's the Yurinagi. Land of him. That should do it. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. Ooh, what impact. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Using the elbow as a weapon. Neck breaker. Bringing it back into the ring. Back in the ring again. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still will. He might have it. 
He's looking a little off balance. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match. No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? This may very well be it. What a way to win a singles match. Well, they don't call it Extreme Rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. I remember this part very well. He ain't messing around. Look at him go. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, York O. Zucconi. That was a big pinfall victory right there.